This is Illinois Extension's Voice of the Wild. A new wild voice in just a moment. So find someplace quiet, take a deep breath, and enjoy. This slim hawk is more nimble than the red-tailed hawk, an adaption that makes it well-suited for navigating the forested riverside ecosystems that it prefers. In winter, they'll often perch low and at the edge of these forests where they can keep an eye out for tasty small rodents and maybe even a small bird. In the warm season, when they can hunt through the green of the riverside forest, they're not above taking a frog, insect, or crawfish. Bold and handsomely marked, its chest and shoulders are a mottled ochre red. Its wings are a checkerboard of black and white. In flight, the tail is strongly and narrowly banded, while the tips of the wings have translucent patches where light from above can be seen from below. This is the red-shouldered hawk, Budio lineatus, from the hawk family Acyptridae. The red-shouldered hawk's repeating call ranges in harshness from a forceful announcement to barely a squeak. Be careful IDing this hawk by its call alone. You'll understand why after boldly proclaiming you've just heard a red-shouldered, only to discover, for the fifth or sixth time, that you've been fooled again by a mischievous blue jay mimicking its call. Here's the actual hawk. Thank you to the Macaulay Library at the Cornell Lab for our hawk sounds, and to Christopher McPherson at xenocanto.org for the Blue Jay Mimic Call. And thank you for tuning in to learn a new wild voice with Illinois Extension.